Dr. Mayo. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, everyone. Before I start my presentation, please focus on these pictures. Can you see the similarities? Yep. Bags. <laughs> someone touching someone else's thing. <coughs> That's right. They're pickpockets. So today I would like to talk about. Oh. Pickpockets. <laughs> My presentation is divided into seven parts. First, the definition, types, techniques, appearance areas, <laughs> techniques, <laughs> <laughs> prevention methods, severity, and last, we'll have a quiz, so please focus. First, the definition. A pickpocket is a thief who surreptitiously <laughs> steals money or valuables from pockets or person of an individual. You might only think of Stealing from the pockets, but as the internet developed, there are electronic pay pockets too. <coughs> there are the types. There are mainly three types: general pay pocket, <coughs> pay pocket, and electronic pay pocket. General pay pocket is what I mentioned before. However, pay pockets do not always operate alone. They may work in teams to distract the victim while the while someone unseen removes the item and then blends back into the crowd. Mm. Third, the electronic pickpocket is a type of theft where criminals steal personal information <laughs> without any physical contact. And third, <laughs> the techniques. There are a lot of techniques, but I brought four of them. First, jostling trick. One or more pickpocket push the victim into a crowd. When the victim is distracted, they steal from the behind. And second, the escalator <coughs> trick. The pickpocket stands behind the victim and the accomplice stands in front of them. When they reach the end, the accomplice suddenly stops and the pickpocket steals from the behind. Third, the nap trick. The pickpocket approaches to the victim like this, acts lost, and asks them to tell them the route using a map. When the victim is distracted and ori orienting, they steal the purse unnoticed. Fourth, the begging trick. This trick is mainly carried out by children who pretend to be deaf or mute. The victim is met with a call for sign asking them for some money. <laughs> when they reach into the, their bags to search for some change, the pickpocket takes the banknotes under the pockets. <coughs> Next, the occurrence areas. I just brought a picture, so let's look at it. We can see that Italy has the most pickpocketing rate mentions, despite Spain and France has a lot of British travelers. We can also know that Western Europe has a lot of pickpocketing. Mm -hmm. And next, the prevention method. First, always keep money close to your person. Second, use your to your person. <laughs> your body. Your body. Yeah. Second, you steal inner pockets. <coughs> Third, wear bags with fastening facing you. Fourth, leave valuables in the room and lock up the carrier. And fifth, don't look like a tourist. <laughs> because the pickpockets know that tourists carry more money, you can easily become the victim. Less the severity. 400,000 pickpocketing incidents occur per day. Mm -hmm. and wow. In England, it has surged 20% between two years. And in Italy, there are one pickpocketing in every six months. Wow. In two years. So, yeah. So, if you don't have any questions, I'll move on to the quiz. First, what are the types of pickpockets? <coughs> The jostling trick, the escalator trick, the map trick, and the begging trick. That's the technique tricks. So oh, types. There was three. Bullet trick. Yeah. Uh, general. General. T. T. Yeah. Second, how can we prevent people? Like I prepared a lot of answers for this, so I'll move on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
the valuable things in your room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that we need to become more aware of pickpockets. I hope my presentation made you more conscious about the risk of pickpockets. Thank you for listening.